When an enolizable aldehyde or ketone is treated with a base, it undergoes an intermolecular reaction in which two equivalents of the substrate combine through an aldol process. The initial product is a beta-hydroxyaldehyde or ketone, which may be converted further to the corresponding alpha-beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone upon heating and longer exposure to the basic reaction conditions. In basic conditions, an enolizable aldehyde or ketone will be deprotonated at the alpha position to give the resonance stabilized enolate. Since this species will be in equilibrium with the starting carbonyl species, an intermolecular attack of the enolate on the precursor will occur. After proton transfer from the solvent, this gives the aldol product, which may be forced to go further to the alpha-beta and saturated aldol condensation product through prolonged heating. The aldol reaction relies on the starting material having a removable alpha proton, which is taken off by base in the first step to give the resonance stabilized enolate conjugate base. If the correct base is used, an equilibrium is established. So there is enolate and starting carbonyl material present at the same time in solution. This allows for intermolecular nucleophilic addition to form a new carbon-carbon bond. Since a polar protic solvent is used, a rapid proton transfer occurs to give the beta-hydroxy aldol product. Upon prolonged heating, the aldol product may be converted to the alpha-beta and saturated aldehyde, which begins with deprotonation alpha to the carbonyl to give the resonance stabilized conjugate base. Loss of the hydroxyl group which is the rate determining step in this E1CB process, then results in the conjugated alpha-beta and saturated condensation product. To summarize, when an enolizable aldehyde or ketone is treated with a base of appropriate strength, the aldol addition occurs to give a beta-hydroxy aldehyde or ketone through nucleophilic addition. Prolonged heating in the basic environment affects elimination to give the conjugated alpha-beta and saturated derivative.